Hey, it's Charles Elwood, my company at solusmatica.com. So thanks to Shane Dick at Atlas CFO, he kind of asked me to do a slide to kind of explain if you're in the right place. So if you're using Power BI and you're getting to close to the file size limit of your PBX file, it's one gig. So what do you do at that point? The other question is, do you need real-time data? If you do, direct query and composite models may be a viable um, alternative because with the import method, you can only refresh eight times a day. But just be aware, as I'm gonna talk about in this video and kind of demonstrate, there are performance trade-offs if your data model isn't quite optimized for the direct query method. So I, I posted this question on LinkedIn. The number one question I get asked about composite models is uh, what exactly is it? So you go to the Microsoft documentation, um, there's a lot of technical babble about what a composite model is. But for you business people out there that really want to understand if you need to use composite models. So number one is if you need data to be refreshed all the time. Um, if you do need data refreshed, direct query um, is the way to leave the data on the SQL server or on the database. And then when you're creating the report um, and the visualizations, you're pulling off that um, the data from the cloud service or SQL server into your data model. The other question is file size, uh, Power BI desktop and uh, service for maybe the pro license. I think there's a one gig limit. So when you put the data out into the cloud and store it up on the SQL server or Azure servers in the cloud, you can kind of work around that that's, uh, limitation. I do need to add quickly, if you use import method, um, that brings the data into your data model, into Power BI Desktop, and kind of holds it there in memory. Um, there is a way to refresh that up to eight times a day. So that's one of the questions you really need to ask your business is, do you need the data immediately right when it changes, or is it okay eight times a day? Because you're going to have some trade-offs. The other question is really file size. Look at your file size. See if it's above one gig. If it isn't, you should be fine just with Power BI Desktop and you don't have to trade off with complex SQL queries and all kinds of delays because the data is being brought in from being stored on the SQL server or in the cloud and you're bringing it in, right? So, so the next question is, what is a composite model? Let's go into Power BI and Desktop and take a look. So before we go into the model, let's take a look right here. So the first one, test file size, direct query, composite model. You can see 125K, not too big. Um, first integration, test file size import. So this is where everything is imported into memory. Um, the data is there, but can be scheduled to refresh eight times a day. You can here, see here 788K. So let's dive into the direct query, take a look at that. So you can already see here, it takes a lot longer to load, especially the first time. So I've been testing Azure um, serverless servers, SQL server on um, the, in the cloud. And the first time I loaded this, it took forever. Um, you know, we're talking 30 seconds. So it might be that server starting up, I'm not sure, but you could open the performance analyzer and you know, you can go view, there's a performance analyzer there. Um, you can say, I want to start recording. Let's do a clear. Let's do refresh visuals. So look at that, 1500 milliseconds. So I applied a slicer there um, and you're seeing, you know, kind of 1.3 seconds looks like. So now the coolest part of this whole thing is I can log into Azure and I can look at my CPU compute utilization and I can already see here where I'm hitting the server. And um, All right, the other thing I've been doing that's really so much fun is I've been going into SQL Server Management Studio. Um, and in here is where I loaded the tables. 
So let's look at the table. This is the one with the data. So let's do an edit. Let's take a quick look at edits. So I've got order date in here. Um, so you can see here, this is where I've been doing some testing. So let's put 2018 in here. Put this up into the server. Go on to Power BI service, do a refresh, voila! So that is so cool. Like I'm updating this Azure SQL serverless server with um, SQL Server Management Studios. It's putting it up into the cloud and then I have Power BI service up in the service, connecting to it, updating this data. And just to just top it off, let's take a look at Let's do a data refresh here. There it is, 2018. It pulled that one view in. It took about 1.6 seconds. So um, we're just gonna look at, you know, I have the calendar table, I have AdventureWorks, I have sales order that I'm gonna add in later. Um, but right now, this, this table right here is in direct query mode, and this one is built inside of uh, Power BI itself. So it's in, so this is kind of a composite model, but it's refreshing here automatically. So, so cool, awesome stuff. All right, I sent this video out and I got a few questions back. We're gonna address those right now. One question came in from Ian Bowman at Work Adaptive, and Ian asked if um, there's, you know, what's the difference between direct query and live connections? And I'm gonna show in the next slide, I got another question about direct query. And it's, you know, one of the main methods for connecting to databases. And there's a list on the Power BI document website with all the different types of connections you can make with direct query. Um, and you can also go into the documentation here, as I'm showing on the screen. Live connections are primarily SQL Server Analysis Services, or I believe Azure Analysis Services uses live connections too. So it's just different databases have different type of live connections. And it seems like, you know, the ones for SQL Server and SAP and HANA is called the direct query method and then analysis services. The, the database is really tabular and I believe it's the same. So they call that a live connection. All right, and this question comes from my good friend Raul um, in Costa Rica at Delphi BI. He just named his company. So shout out to Raul. And Raul was asking, so in this video, I use Azure SQL Server, but there's a whole, bunch of different connections you can make with direct query. Not, not all connections, right, are available via direct query. Like, for example, some of the more common ones like Excel and CSVs don't have that availability to do direct query. However, if you go to the documentation website, you're going to see here there's a huge list of direct query sources. If you have any questions, post them down below because um, I'm going to be monitoring for about an hour after I post this video to see what questions come up about composite model. I just love, love, love being able to update and see stuff on the fly. I hope this helps you um, kind of decide if you need composite models or not. Um, I'm guessing a lot of people don't quite need this, um, but um, it's been so much fun. And if you're like me and you just love tinkering around and, and figuring this stuff out, um, write through questions below and tell me, you know, what question should I answer next? Thanks. Bye.